News analyst Mr. Dashabwale is with us now to discuss efforts by APC nominees for National Assembly leadership to rally their colleagues and impact on the easing tension in the ruling party. Good afternoon, Mr. Shabwale. Welcome. Good afternoon. To Newsday. It's, nice to be here. it's just you and me today. Uh -huh. It's unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay so nice. of yeah. all the candidates that are running for you know this very crucial position, whose strategy are you most impressed by? Um, you see, they have made it a joint ticket. Uh, the, the speaker and deputy speaker have been going about, the president of the Senate, and the, so they have formed a team already. Mm -hmm. So they are forced to reckon with. Unlike before, when there was a vacuum, people were contemplating, um, not threatening, uh, so many things, if certain things are not done. But the APC has, the leadership of the APC has bent backwards. And I said that it is going, that it was accused of uh, jumping the gun and uh, announcing the zoning before consultations. But I said this is doing consultations now. So it, the strategy has moved, you get me, from that of uh, pacification now to persuasion. It has its actors on the ground, its nominees. So the nominees are the bona fide actors. And the prospect of what they can do when they get to office is working in their favor. In addition, you know, uh, you see, those, even those fighting them acknowledge that they have the backing of the National Working Committee, mm -hmm. and they have the backing of their going speaker. And people have speculated, they themselves are the speculators, that Bajabiala, Bajabiala Mila is going to be chief of staff. So if, if you value your political future, <laughs> <laughs> you might as well play ball and not attack its nominees too much. But the way I see it, the APC, the APC is playing its ball straight. Although you will notice in all this bellicosity and belligerence and opposition to this zoning, nobody has mentioned the Muslim Muslim ticket. Mm -hmm. But the high was taboo now. You get me? Even the party has not mentioned it. But like I said the other time, it informed the way it did the zoning and made the appointments for the nominees. Now, you see, the, the, the party has not done like, like uh, one, one uh, former emperor in European history who said, my people and I have reached an understanding which satisfies us both. They are to say what they want and I'm to do as I like. The party has not done that, it has not been dictatorial, although it has the power to instill discipline, but it's accommodating. But the nominees have not sat, they have not, they have not rested on their hours. They've been all over the country, they've been to Lagos, and they have been assured. And even today, you have this at the, the, the governors are meeting, even though the, the chairman of the governor forum, Akre Dolu, mm -hmm. has made his vice known. But I'm sure it's not alone. So you in Lagos here has said that you know, they will give vote backing to the nominees of the party. So those who are opposing, like I said earlier, uh, they are doing as if there is a war. There is no war. There is no civil war in the party. Uh, the one book I read for school side, every fifth, said in, uh, when the blast of war blows in our ears, you will take the action of the tiger. There is no war. So they are getting belly goes. But you can see opportunism is abroad. People are doing their best to get as much attention and relevance as they can create for themselves. So I should be able to get something from what is at stake, mm -hmm. the booty of the election. Yes, indeed. It's but natural. there are some groups, you know, yeah. um, for instance, a collision of various groups like the Northwest Geopolitical Zone under the aegis of the Northern Business Roundtable. They are actually um, threatening to, resp you know, they're, they're asking, basically asking the president-elect to respect their individual position or risk dramatic legislative display at the Red Chamber on the day of the 10th National Assembly uh, what inauguration. They claiming, what they are claiming is that uh, the, North, the Northwest, 
brought the largest number of votes. You get me? I, I understand that, but they're making threats here. Huh? Now that yeah. they're making threats, is yes. that a safe approach? It is normal to make threats, but the party has made this nominees known. It has, it has not explained the reason for the zoning, but the, the, the geopolitical distribution has been satisfied. This is six zones. <laughs> I mean, the major zones have, have been pacified, literally. You can say maybe Southeast. Some people are saying that Southeast is bigger than that. But then, see, the Northeastern people will, the Northwestern people will call, what did you bring to the table? Now, the Northwestern, they, 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 they want to claim uh, literally everything. It's not done. Mm. Nigeria is not a, a, a northern state alone. It's not a northwest state. And they are still part of us. It's a multi-ethnic federation. So it has to be give and take. You see, the party has not mentioned the Muslim-Muslim ticket because it, was, it, it had a pyrrhic victory, costly victory, which it is thanking God that survived. And I think hopefully they will mitigate this crisis and pacify people, although people will still until, until the voting day. But don't forget that even what the party has done, the announcement, they are not official. You get me? They are not constitutional. Theoretically, constitutionally, legislators elect their leaders on the floor of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's to make it easier for the party. That is why it is doing all it is doing, so that there is no vacuum. And what happened at the Saraki uh, legislation does not repeat itself. But based on what the formula is at the moment, would yes. you advise what that is it's the formula? Nobody has mentioned the formula. <laughs> oh, I'm the one saying the formula. Based on this speculation, you know, <laughs> yes. with the Fabio and whatnot. <laughs> That's right. Do you, would you say that it should remain the same? Because some groups, whether it's official or not, are stating that they do feel marginalized. For instance, you know, the Southeast, like you mentioned earlier. Look, um, if you want to be realistic, the party has said it will consult now. But I don't see the party in any way, relinquishing any, anything it has done. To use its persuasive skills. Because it's a domain, domain theory. Once it re removes one, the others will fall. Mm -hmm. And then there will be a free fall fight. You get it. So yes. the party has to you know, keep to what it, it has done. And I don't see it making a U-turn or let's beating see, a retreat. Let's see how it plays. I always, always appreciate your time here on Newsday. Arise News Analyst, Mr. Dayo Shibuale. Thank you right so on. much for joining us.